NASA has a long relationship with the Tennessee River. Since the birth of the space program, parts of rockets too large to move over roads are shipped by barge from Redstone. Well, in 1961, Werner von Braun and his team were ready to test launch the first version of their massive Saturn rocket that would take astronauts to the moon. But a catastrophe at the Wheeler Dam threatened to put the entire Apollo program way behind schedule. That is until the Tennessee Valley Authority stepped in to help save the moon mission and win the space race. It was a bad day, and it sure was. Randy McCann is a retired TVA employee and part-time historian. He was six years old on that bad day, June 2nd, 1961, the day the walls of the only lock on Wheeler Dam suddenly collapsed. Massive concrete blocks. Uh, they're like 8 by 8 by 16 or 12 foot. Just, they just jumbled up like uh, tinker toys. Within seconds, tons of concrete and steel that formed the lock for 26 years now blocked the only way through the dam. 375 miles of the Tennessee River was instantly cut off from barge traffic. Major catastrophe affected river traffic immensely. Overnight, shipping came to a halt. Nothing could get through. No farm goods, no manufactured products, no 75-ton rockets. It was uh, going to affect the moon blast launch program that was on, you know, NASA had a real strict schedule. There. NASA engineers at Marshall Space Flight Center were ready for their first test flight of the new Saturn rocket, but their only path to Cape Canaveral was now blocked, and the timing couldn't have been worse. Just eight days before the lock failed, President Kennedy made a bold promise to the American people. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. At Redstone Arsenal, it was all hands on deck. Repairing the lock was not an option. That would take up to a year. So they teamed up with the TVA to come up with a plan to portage the rocket. Less than three months, TVA mustered together the forces along with the Corps of Engineers, and they built these two docks to move the Saturn rocket, which was stranded above. Two massive custom-built concrete structures, the upstream dock built in this small cove. Well, this cove or slough was dug out to make the water deep enough for this large vessel. The downstream dock just on the other side of the dam. I, I would expect they, they work 24-7. TVA carved a new road through the forest a mile long to connect the docks. Then the rocket on a huge flatbed trailer was rolled onto its barge at Redstone and floated downstream to the first dock. There, it was offloaded, moved slowly along the new road to the other side of the dam where it was wheeled onto the other barge to continue the trip to Florida. The date was August 5th, barely two months from the day the lock at Wheeler Dam failed. Yeah, that was quite a feat. It was. It would be uh, difficult for us to do that that quickly today. It was an emergency effort. An emergency effort that McCann says speaks to the space program as a whole. Failure was not an option. There were a lot, a lot of dedicated people working on the whole Apollo program, and earlier the Gemini, uh, it all came together. The Tennessee Valley Authority has commemorated what happened here with these new markers. President Kennedy said back in 1961 when he spoke to Congress that it would take the entire country coming together to pull off the dream of sending a man to the moon and returning him safely to Earth. And what happened here nearly 60 years ago is proof that there was no obstacle too great to overcome on the road to achieving that goal.